Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I will give you a fix of this problem when you have to enable this .NET Framework 3.5 without uh, doing Windows Update. It is very easy. What you have to do is you need this command and also you need that disk where, uh, from like which you have installed your Windows directory or maybe if you have used bootable pen drive then you can have the uh, pen drive as well as if you are booting it from hard disk uh, then you just need uh, what you need to do is you need to copy one path first of all this is the like suppose this is the your disk where from where you are installing there will be a source folder and as well as there will be one sxs folder then you have to just copy the path for this one now you need to uh, copy this command now before doing the copy you have to change the path here in this one here source so whatever the source like you have the cd drive uh, main uh, like it would be like i ratio slash sources slash sx s or something any uh, any path it can be from the pen drive or anywhere you just need to copy this path then you need to open your cmd but it should run in administrator mode first of all that thing you have to make sure then you just need to copy uh, this command and you can press enter just i have what i have done is i have just changed this folder basically j colon slash windows slash sources and slash sxs and also one more thing if you want to enable any feature which you have to turn on and off but uh, you don't want any windows update if that update will be available in the disk then you can uh, like the windows uh, installation disk then you can enable it from there so let us try now here what i did is i just uh, uh, like President, uh, for this command I just change my path after this source why I'm using double quotation if you have any space or something like that in path then you can use double quotation to fix it and now let us wait for a second it will take some moment to get enabled it will take some time now you can see now installation the operation completed successfully now you can go back to your control panel and just try cancel it and just try to reopen and now you will see the feature got enabled so if still you have any question you can contact me i will be just copying this command within the description of this video so that you can down uh, like copy the command from there if you still have any question you can contact me through my email id yogesh.mela at gmail.com stay happy and be healthy